Welcome everyone, I'm Kimberly Boschman and this is the Intentionally Intuitive Podcast. In this episode, we're going to take a look at the month of March 2023 and the life path forecast for the month ahead. Be sure to subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss when I post. And of course, thank you all so much for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Personal month forecasts, which will include, of course, the, uh, the moon forecasts, those will be coming sometime next week, I anticipate. So keep your eye out for those. And of course, they are different from the life path forecasts and they do have different calculations. Uh, so be, be aware of that and definitely check yours out once they land. I, like I said, I expect that to be sometime next week. This of course is a general reading for a personal reading or a coaching with numerology session with me. You can book some time uh, with me. Of course, my information is in the description box below to do that. Okay, so March 2023 is 10-1 energy. So you may have seen some things close out in the month of February. Some things coming to fruition, completion, um, things falling away creating a clean slate, right? So March, we have this beautiful clean slate to create whatever it is that we wish to create, to take some big risks, to take some uh, sort of some initiations, to um, initiate some new things, right? To, to be somewhat aggressive in that approach and to go after what it is that our hearts desire. This, of course, is going towards those sort of individual goals, those big new starts when it comes to self. The the one energy is very much focused on self and identity and going after again, what it is that we feel called to go after uh, at this moment and what it is that we feel called to create or initiate um, and to do that in a way that, again, we're taking the initiative to do that. One energy forces us to take the initiative to get started on something. Um, and it may look different than what we had anticipated it would look like. And a lot of times with one energy, that's very normal. It can be so outside the box that a lot of people don't understand it. And that's okay. Uh, follow your instincts, follow your intuition, follow your, your heart at this time, and really uh, take those big risks on the things that really speak to you the most. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at uh, the individual life path forecast, taking all this into consideration. Life path number one, whoa, baby, you all got jaguar energy for your animal wisdom this month. And what I love about this, there's a lot of things I love about this. First of all, March is, of course, the universal one energy. So this is really feeding into your life path energy uh, in, you know, within itself. And then we have jaguar energy coming through, which is such strong, powerful, individual energy. Um, so with jaguar, there's something here about being very quick-witted, being very alert, very sort of aware of your surroundings, aware of whatever's presented to you, like really sort of... <clears throat> taking your time, making sure that you understand whatever, again, whatever's being presented to you uh, before you commit to it, before you take that big risk. There is sort of this energy of with Jaguar, with any sort of big cat, there's sort of this stalking period, this period where before they exert their energy, before they commit to the chase, they are going to make sure that it's worth the investment, right? So there is somewhat of a calculated risk here. Um, that's not to deter you from doing something that you feel really called to do. But I would say make sure that you're very not cautious or overly cautious uh, to where it hinders you from taking that leap of faith. Definitely you are encouraged, especially under this one universal cycle, to do that, to follow your inspirations, to go after what calls for you. Um, in a big way, right? <clears throat> in knowing that it's going to probably push you into some kind of leadership role and push you outside of the box in your comfort zone. However, there's also this energy, again, not only for patience when it comes to Jaguar energy, because you have to be patient. You can't, if you just jump on everything that comes through to you, 
you're going to run out of energy. You're going to sort of, um, you know, the fire is going to combust, but then it's going to run out really quickly. So you really do have to pace yourself and make sure again, that where you're putting your energy, where you're focusing that energy makes the most sense for you and makes the most sense for sort of the long haul, right? What you're committing yourself to. There's also this energy with Jaguar uh, about being able to move very quickly, right? So changing directions really quickly if need be. So it's like rolling with the punches. This can be a month where you all face sort of a little bit more tests than normal. Um, sort of profound transformation can come through this month. And I'm going to talk about this because you're also working with 11-2 energy. Um, so there can be sort of some additional tests that come through. And I would say probably we've got Saturn moving into Aquarius at the beginning of the month, March 7th, I believe it is. And so you aim, you all may see that as Saturn is transitioning into a new sign that you are seeing some kind of final test come up, some kind of um, like big test from the universe to be like, is this what you really want? Is this where you want to invest your energy? Is this where you want to commit yourself to for the long haul? So you may see that come through. And I would just say, be very, you know, pay attention to it. Pay attention to those struggles that feel really insurmountable this month. Um, it's not that they are insurmountable, but it's just like the universe just giving you that final kind of test to say, are you sure you want this? Are you sure you're like in it for the long haul type thing? Not to say you can't change directions down the road, but if you're going to invest your energy, you want to make sure you're investing it in something that you want, right? So with Jaguar, there's also this energy of sort of facing your own inner demons, any self-doubt, anything that comes creeping in for you that says you can't do this or you're not worthy or anything from the external that's trying to show you that you can't do this, right? Because a lot of times the te some tests will show up so that we do make a detour, right? We're sort of forced to make a detour and that's fine. Being adaptable is a beautiful thing, <clears throat> but sometimes those tests will come up and really it's just saying, we're gonna put the pressure on, can you handle it, right? Because if you can't handle it, then this might not be for you. But if you can handle it because you want it that badly or it just still feels so aligned, or you're so passionate about it, then you'll be able to overcome or move with that pressure, right? So definitely, you know, pay attention to any self doubt that comes up anything that kind of tries to deter you from your path. Um, because with the Jaguar energy, right, it's if it stalks it long enough, it wants it, and it's going to go after it, right? And it's probably going to get it. So again, that is really one energy. So very, very powerful energy coming through with Jaguar. I would also say with Jaguar, there's also this potential for, again, those profound transformations where it's sort of encouraging you or pushing you to step into some kind of leadership role. Um, and whether that's just in your own life, right? Your own pursuits. So there is definitely something coming through with that with taking the reins and not letting go of them unless you feel called to do so, right? This always comes back to your own uh, intuition, inner guidance, uh, following that sort of inner compass to make sure that what you're going after is what you want. Now, you all are also working again with in March with 11-2 energy. And so again, this will bring up unexpected tests, challenges, sort of um, tests of faith in yourself. Um, so it'll point out your trigger points, right? It'll bring to the surface the things that trigger you. And usually what triggers us are the things that will deter us if we don't take a closer look at them and work through them, right? Deconstruct them and transmute them. So this is going to be a great month for you all to do that, especially with Jaguar energy. Uh, so just pay attention to those tests that come up and don't always see them as um, something that's trying to defeat you or, you know, halt you and not allow you to move forward because that's not often the case. Often it's more about like, okay, the universe is really trying to show you what you're capable of and what you can sort of dig into when it comes to your own resources. So definitely pay attention to that. This is also going to be a potentially a month for the need for quick decisions and being quick on your feet. So again, we go back to Jaguar energy of like that quick wittedness of like being able to change directions very quickly, being very like self-aware and aware of your surroundings to know when something is changing or, or sort of being in front of it, right? Like to get it before it gets out of control. 
Uh, so this can call for the need for quick decisions. And so uh, this isn't going to be a month for like hemming and hawing. It's going to be like the opportunity presents itself. You need to make a decision um, and use all of your senses in doing that, right? Uh, this can also be a month where legal dealings come to completion or show up, right? So if there's something that, and you know, it's probably going to be potentially something that you already knew was going to be showing up. So um, it may even be something that you need to initiate. That can be possible as well. But there could be some legal dealings coming up this month that you just need to be aware of. But again, you know, you're in the driver's seat here. So how you handle it will will sort of determine the outcome, right? And the experience. So definitely pay attention to that. Big month for you all. Again, being in a 10-1 month uh, universally, this is your month. This is your time to shine. This is your energy, right? So use it to your advantage. Those things that you've wanted to take, you know, be more aggressive about, about or more assertive, this is the time to do that and really take the initiative while also maintaining your composure and also being very aware of the situation at hand. So I hope it's a powerful month for you all. I'm sure it will be. Take care, ones.